That's our intro music, man. Welcome <laughs> to another episode of the Nothing and Everything podcast, where today we'll talk a lot of nothing. And a little bit about everything. Man, let's... I like how you said another episode. Another... <laughs> Let I mean oh, let's just I got my watch is gonna start buzzing. I did hear it buzz. I know, but I are you seriously? You can't. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> they they made me all nervous. I'm listen, like I can't remember how to do it. It's, listen, people, what you don't know how to swipe on your phone? I do, but I it's not a normal phone watch mm. <clears throat> on my phone on my watch phone. There is a burning question that everyone everyone's dying to know. Where have we been? I've had numerous. I've had no one. <laughs> I've had ones and ones of people. Ones and ones. I asking, may have had two people. Where have we been? What's going on with the show? One what's related, going on with the one podcast? Not related, yeah. So we're here to what's answer the, those what's questions. The answer? the answer is we <laughs> haven't we haven't gone anywhere. We've been here for years. A little LL Cool J for you. <clears throat> I was going to do a Jerry Seinfeld joke that he says uh, women always want to know like. I want to know what he's thinking. What does man think? What, what, what are you thinking? Mm-hmm. He goes, I'll tell you exactly. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, and that's the answer. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and everything. See? So we've just been busy, man. What I, do you think about like... more? Do you think more about nothing or do you think about too many things? If you're like like deep in thought. Because I got called this morning. My wife was like, everything okay? You want? And I was like, she goes, you know, feel like you I, I don't know, kind of rushed around the house and everything. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I was just thinking, about, I think about everything I got to get done in the next like week and a half. You know, yeah. I was just kind of running through like every day, meetings, you know, to-do lists, all that stuff. Yeah. And I feel like the, maybe the older I get, the I feel like I think more about everything and probably not enough of nothing, just emptying my well, mind. Well, it goes in seasons, right? Like, Sure. I'm in a season of everything right now. If so. it's like for me, if it's like a, if it's just me, if I'm just concerned about something that I need to do or that I want to do or I need to get done, I'm not really thinking much about that because I can get it done as I, as I need to. But if it's like if I'm doing something and, it, and there's a team of people around me and they need stuff right. from me, it, then yeah, I feel people like are depending on me. that's when I'm running a little right. bit more trying to get everyone. This that's when I kind of get over. And I, right. I don't get like – not I'm a deep thinker, but like I can kind of get in my own – not get in my head, but, you know, like it feels like everything else is white noise yeah, except – Whatever's going on in my head. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm. Careful. All right. You got to relearn how to be around the microphone. It's been a, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a, a while. while. It's been a while. Ooh, that's not a good song. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So you should start to see some episodes <clears throat> come back into the mix. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're not. We're not going anywhere. <clears throat> <clears throat> that sounded like a threat. Actually, it may. What? Is, I feel like you're coming down with something. No. Maybe. Well, you know. <clears throat> you know. A couple weeks ago, just so you know, I was pretty busy. I was in a busy season. Yeah, you had a you had like a like a world tour going on. It was like, like a regional a, tour. Yeah, yeah. It was like ten straight days of leading worship, and so it's just a lot when you sing a lot and you sing that much. It's um, it's pretty. pretty Did you calculate how many songs, like quickly in your head, like how many songs do you think over a ten day period? You got those events and those Sunday mornings and. Weekenders, like uh, uh, over under fifty, Austin. What do you think? He wasn't paying attention. See, I love it when he looks up and he's like, mm. Mm. over or under fifty. Over fifty. Songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Including CLT weekend. Yeah. Another yeah. D now. Another D now. Whole people. Two think Sundays in there. Regular. You had a. They're called senior adults, Austin. Yeah. That one. I was, I'm offended now. We're going to have to beep, beep out what he said. <laughs> <laughs> the unnecessary censorship going yes. on here. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Ballpark it. 60? Oh, we had to go 60. Yeah. Because we said 50. Yeah, all right. I don't know. That's a lot, though. It was a lot. So I actually I actually have this. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine about vocal cords and trying to do a little bit of research on how to how to better care for my voice you know back in the day i'd sing 100 songs in a week i wouldn't think nothing of it because i was young probably not 100 probably felt like 100 but probably not that many and i started thinking i was like you know i'm a little bit older now i need to start thinking about you know you yep. know like pretty much if if i'm in the nba this is where i would limit my playtime. <laughs> i would uh have some rest hey how come gerald's not starting 
I would tonight. take some games off. Yeah, you would. The problem is when you're leading worship, you can't really <laughs> take. I can't take yeah, songs off. Yeah, you do. Off, cause, right? Yeah, because what you do is you just start playing. All right, everybody, let's worship, and then you back up, and somebody else leads the song. That's that's oh. y'all's equivalent. Like you're not like the main. Yeah, but I'm still. I mean, I'm still playing. Yeah, but you're like bubblegum watermelon it, right? Uh, I mean, no, not really I'm singing the songs, worshiping really. the Lord. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just feel like it'd be like an easy bubblegum like, watermelon it. Yeah, let me get. All right, everybody, and then you just back up, and everybody else like <clears> takes the lead. You and, know what, man? I'm just kidding. You don't even know. All you do is break graham crackers on the line and pass it out for seriously. Kids. <laughs> I know. Hey, who wants another goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> who wants some Capri Suns? <laughs> Kool Aid. You guys will see me cry. You guys will see me shotgun this Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't believe you just talked about shotgun and the Capri Sun. <laughs> I know I probably said that, but we're on it's air. Capri Sun, though. We are on air. So anyway, <laughs> so yeah, things get busy. I'm trying to figure out how to take care, take better care of my vocal cords. Because, yeah. I mean, I got to think through this kind of. Do stuff, you have you know? like rituals and habits to to do that? I don't really have rituals. I mean, do you like sounds, gargle? You know, ugh. Honey lemon ginseng or something like that? No, I do try to consume a lot of lemon, though, because it is helpful. Really? Yeah. So. Like just. <laughs> <laughs> or like. How do Wait, you did think? I say lemon? You said lemon. I meant honey. Oh, I was like, I don't dang, know. that's pretty raw. After you did, not I was like, who eats honey like that? <laughs> <laughs> what are you biting the honeycomb? It's like, that little <laughs> <laughs> just take it straight from just the Cheney farm. And grab it. <laughs> that would be really uh, good for your vocal Have you ever had honey from the Cheney farm? Yeah. I've been uh, Austin's dad. No, that's not Cheney Farms. No, Cheney, that's not. Cheney but that's kind of where Cheney Farm, Cheney Farms, Cheney, Cheney Farm. What is it? Far, there's only one. So, Ooh, he's but there's his two. Dad is, but there's two Cheneys. Is a fraud. Oh, I mean, yeah. What? What? Do you Cheney's Farm? Is Cheney it Cheney farm. farm or Cheney's Farm? Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, I gave you <laughs> options. <laughs> <laughs> what does the hat say? It's Cheney Farm. Yeah, singular. Well, I haven't had any honey from that farm. Yeah, we haven't either. Really? We've had issues with our bees. What kind of issues? Yeah, They're being antisocial. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. leaving. They're leaving? Yeah, we've gone back. We started with one. We had five at one point. Went back down. Wait, five to bees? Hives. Uh, I was like, five bees. I'm like, how you keeping up with them? The joke's working overtime. <laughs> put like we a, can't keep up with this. Put like an air tag on it. <laughs> It's just laying on the thing, trying to fly. I know, he's like, we so started heavy. with one, and then we have five. I was like, oh, poor mm. bees, man. Yeah. I mean, that's Is a one lot of the work. queen? <laughs> you can order a queen on Amazon. Yeah, I've done that. On Amazon? On Amazon, and a queen shows up in like a little... Or, I've yeah. heard of people... I mean, your dad was telling me about ordering them, and then they're like, hey, you need to come get this box. It's like buzzing and stuff. And it, Yeah, can, you can order a whole package of bees. What do you mean? How much is a package of bees going to cost me? We should just have it delivered to somebody. <laughs> Typically, like 100, 120 bucks. One hundred twenty dollars for a How pack many bees of bees. Am I gonna get in there? You get a whole. It's a uh, probably foot and a half by half a foot. I don't know. But how many? Like how many bees are in it though? Like a hundred bees? Hold on, I'm trying to carry the one. A foot and a half. It's like by geometry. Half a foot. I was like, what in the world? So uh, six by eighteen. <laughs> half a foot by. Three quarters of a yard? I don't know, maybe like 10, 20,000 bees. 20,000 bees? That's worth $100 to send it to somebody. And you ain't got no honey? And they don't expect it, and they crack that box open and be like, hey, I got something for Amazon Prime. And the whole house fills up with bees? <laughs> it's a terrible practical joke, but it sounds then, funny, though. And you roll up with some EpiPens and save the day? Yup. Man, I didn't know it was that easy to get bees. I thought it was like a black market. I thought you literally had to go out and be like, Hey, come here, like, like take a net or something. Like, I don't know, how, how do you get them to come to your house? All of ours have been from a swarm, like where you go pick it up from a tree or whatever. Like one of those big honeycomb things that you see, like, in... Bro, that's a wasp nest. <laughs> that's why you ain't got no honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of Japanese hornets. <laughs> hey, you remember the murder hornets? Yeah. Whatever happened to those? Maybe they killed each other or something. I don't know. Maybe they turned. I think they were like... Yeah, wasn't that supposed like, wasn't there like a bad like uh, murder hornet thing like around? Was it like pandemic or something? Like well, it was all kind of like I think people it was were like swarming around at the same time. People were starting to come See out at the yeah. same like people were starting to come out of COVID lockdown and it was like no, go back to your homes. Here's some murder hornets. <laughs> I thought I saw one in That's my backyard it, one time. It was a conspiracy theory. It was a, it was like the size of a drone. 
It was a uh. yellow jacket. <laughs> like, I could hear it flying around, so I swatted at it and knocked it down. But, like, is it a murder hornet because, like, their sting can kill you? Or, like, are they just, like, intimidating looking because they're so big and ferocious? I don't, I think it's, yes. Both. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Exactly. Apparently the murder hornet's been canceled. It's been canceled? Like cancel culture canceled yeah. or like oh wow so they just We're like, said go back go back to where you're from we yeah. don't want we you don't here want anymore. you here anymore they've changed his name to avoid evoking fear and xenophobia it's called the northern Xenophobia. giant hornet xenophobia is that a fear of no that's a fear of it's like fear of like others like fear of like things that you don't know or understand if you're xenophobic like you don't yeah it's kind of a look it up I think that's what it is like a broad general. Fear or dislike of anything which is perceived as being foreign or strange. Yeah, like. Yeah, no, I'll you never don't get like rid of that. Foreigners or, you know, hey, look, a shark. I don't really know much about it. But that's but not it's the size of a school bus, phobia. so therefore I'm going to be afraid of it. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's just a weird thing. Yeah. Cancel culture for the hornet. <laughs> for <Bro>. the <laughs> how many things He's have been canceled? How many things have been canceled since the lockdown? How many things have been canceled? Yeah, for the last like five or ten years. Man, so much stuff. Like, uh, yeah, man, I wish I had done some some prep work on this because this would have been a good segment. This talk about things what? that have been canceled. Let's do some prep work for next for next week. Because we do usually do a lot of prep work for any week. <laughs> the prep work is me sending you a text right beforehand. Said, hey, what hey, time bro. are we gonna be? Hey, are we <coughs> are we doing that today? <laughs> yeah. Can you find anything on that? Like things that like things that have been canceled. Yeah. Oh, I remember Aunt Jemima was canceled. Yep. I like I like that syrup, that pancake syrup. Is it Aunt Jemima or Miss Butterworth? Well, Both Aunt Jemima definitely. I think Uncle Ben was too. Uncle Ben, what did he do to anybody? I don't feel like I <laughs> speak on any of these issues. I'm just what about Mister Clean? Is he is he canceled? No, yep, because no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Are you serious? I would imagine that people that have hair follicle syndromes got all upset. I don't. Know. Oh my gosh! You can't call them bald. Probably <laughs> is that is that word canceled? I don't know. Bald. That's what I'm saying. How follicularly challenged? Follicularly yeah, challenged. Yeah, be careful when you say that. Yeah. Follicle. Yeah. Follicle. That's a tough one. Challenged. Man. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm on my way there. That's where I wear a hat all the time. You think so? Uh, I mean, right? Uh, I never thought about it. Like, um, and I'm fine if I do. Like, you know, I'm yeah. not going to run out and get a toupee <laughs> or, like, get some spray or something like that. But maybe five, six years ago, out of nowhere, and I hope he listens to this, my brother, mm. sitting across the table eating and just like, hey, are you starting to, like, is your hairline receding? And maybe it has, had never crossed my mind. Right. But then it's like every day, I'm like, oh my. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm sure I got some thinning going on. I mean, I'm yeah. almost 50. Good night. So you're right behind me, so don't even act like it's that I'm far off. I'm pretty far behind you. Are you that far? Mm -hmm. I just had a birthday, so I just got another year closer. Wow. But I, yeah, that was like, it's that old kind of joke like, well, I just want to be self-conscious for the rest of my life now. Right, so. right. <laughs> it wasn't an issue until you brought it up. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, I think about people I went to high school with or whatever, and it's like, you know, you see them on Facebook or, you know, at a reunion or something, and it's just like, I feel like, like, because I'm in front of people a lot, I feel like I've got to, like, kind of, like, maintain, like, a... Yeah, you can't just let yourself go completely. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. Sometimes if like, you do, you'll get canceled. My uh, son said to me the other day, yesterday actually, he was like, <clears throat> he said, "Dad, he said, uh, are you are you gonna run? Are you trying to work out or whatever?" Or and I and I said, you know, mom doesn't like like if I was like big and buff and had veins all in my arms and stuff. I said, mom doesn't like that kind of stuff. I said, so I don't you blame your wife. I don't want to put her in that kind of situation. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, honey. I said, Miles, you find you a woman that's going to accept you like you are. Mm. You'll be fine. And then Tammy was like, hold up. I mean, you can't just be anything. Right. And I was like, oh. She's okay. like, maybe you've never shown me that right. in real life. So. Hey, wait, you just said, like, your high school reunion. Have you ever been to a high school reunion? I went to one. 
How many years? What year did you graduate? 94, 5, 6? 95. Okay. So we're two years apart. I graduated 93. Which two years is a long time. Nah, it's not that long. Can you hold your breath for two years? <laughs> no. <laughs> two years is a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go without eating for two years? Uh, I See? stand corrected. So you are right. Two years, two years is a very is long a time. Long time. You've, have, you, have you ever been to a like a reunion, high school reunion? Just like a high school reunion. Just my first one. Which was what? Ten years? Actually, Five? no. I went to my ten year reunion. Was that your yes. first one? Oh yeah, actually yeah. I was thinking one year reunion, but we don't, you don't do one year reunions. <laughs> That's yes. like, hey, I'll see you next week. <laughs> I, I went to my ten year reunion. Did you really? I did. Was it weird? Um, did you like? Were you married and had kids yep, and stuff by then? Married. Um, I think I think we had I think we had miles already. Okay. So, but yeah, it was weird. I've you know, it was like one. I mean, my my life. I mean, obviously, me being in ministry, my life was considerably considerably different right. than some of the people that you know were there. You know, <clears throat> and you know, just to be honest with you, man, I don't really. I mean, through I guess social medias, I, medias, <laughs> through the medias, social I medias, kind of keep up with some people or whatever, but not, not that much. Okay, I'm I'm pretty I'm just bad curious. That. I've never been to one. Yeah, ours was like at a bar, and I knew right away. Yeah, eh, it's probably not probably gonna be not for my me. scene. Yeah, <laughs> so I went in. I mean, I was probably there 15, 20 minutes. Um, kind of hung out with some folks, and you know, my wife didn't know any of those people. You were there 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Like we went to dinner with a couple friends that I had friends with that I was friends with, and my wife, you know, we went along, and then everyone was going to this one little spot, so we went there, and I didn't know. I mean, you know, I didn't know what was going on in that, and so I was like, ah, this isn't really for me, so we left. I'm just always curious because I've never. I mean, been, it was good to see know, people. Go you know, walk around, and be like, hey, what's up? It was good to see people, but I haven't been to any of them, any other, any blah blah blah. <laughs> Any of them since I would be how many years? <coughs> you were ninety five. I always think that like I'm like yeah you know, high school graduation or early college was like that was just like fifteen twenty years ago and I'm like no bro no it's like thirty it's thirty years yeah man I mean I'm forty eight I just turned forty eight good night you know you <coughs> how old are you Joe forty six mm ah. Mm, no, hey, you know, I I did talk to my college roommate the other day. Oh yeah, and um, still alive. What? <laughs> I'm just what about was his age. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What what does that even mean? <laughs> so we're talking, and it was just like he was like, "Dude, we're so old." And I started thinking, I was like, "Man, we are old." <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> we had deep conversations. It's basically what we do. We we're just talking about how old we are and how yeah. like. Curmudgeon and crotchety. We were like, listen to this. <laughs> so, Get off my lawn. Uh, last night, my my small group met. So I got a small group of guys that I meet with, six or seven of us. <clears throat> and my one buddy Jason made a joke, and he referenced a movie, <laughs> and turned and looked at this other guy who's in my group, who's like twenty five or under, maybe. He's young, you know. So I like no. I like to have different ages in the group right so, i do that with my children yeah so he says he he makes a reference he goes it's like the graduate and turns looks at him he's like he's laughing <laughs> yeah. and i just took note in my head and then a few minutes later i was like hey bro you know he don't he don't know nothing about the graduate <laughs> the graduate dustin hoffman that movie was made like in the 60s or something like that <laughs> yes, I was like, that's old for jason <laughs> i was like bro no one caught that reference but maybe me the maybe graduate. one other guy so uh yeah that happens a lot with <clears> music like there's oh, yeah. a there's a video there's a, a video there's a videotape right now circulating videotape. on Netflix. There's a uh and it's a Netflix produced movie that um I don't know how we even came about it. Somebody shared it with us. But it's it's kinda like a uh high school musical slash like Christian summer camp. Have you heard about this? A week away? Yeah, do you know this? Oh my gosh. But all the yes. like, you know, eighty percent of the music is 25, 30 years ago, throwback right. CCM type stuff. Mm -hmm. So Stephen my kids Curtis were like, how do you guys know this? And they honestly, my kids were like, oh, this this song is kind of cool. And I was just like, "I yeah, but they made me watch it the other night. Mm. Like we sat down and it was a family movie night. Yep. And I was just like, Ugh. my My little girl was singing a song. And oh, okay, I, yeah. And I heard her singing. And so I jumped in and I was singing it with her. And she was like, Dad, have you seen the movie? <laughs> I know, like, that, that's I the thing. Like, they think it came from the movie. I was like, no, it's Stephen Curtis Chapman, The Great Adventure. Yeah. And she goes, who's Stephen, Ch Stephen Chapman, <laughs> whatever. And I was like, what do you mean? Who's Stephen Curtis Chapman? Yeah. 
He was just recently in town, actually. Was he really? Yeah, like in Concord. Like did he? Like last did weekend. He text you and let you know. How did you know this? Because no, uh, I saw pictures oh. on Facebook. <laughs> anyway, so just this morning, I was having a conversation with Campbell, and he has this globe in his office. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get you with it. As I was walking out of his office, I looked at it and I went, "I, I, 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 I want the knife." And then I started walking out. He was like, "What was that about?" Oh, well, I don't. Do you know what movie that's from? I don't think so. Man, I wish I did. The Golden Child. Eddie Murphy. Oh, Eddie Murphy. Remember when? I remember the, the only way you movie. can talk to that Tibetan monk is if you spin the little thing oh. and he starts <laughs> rapping on it. So I did, that's and a. Campbell yeah. looks at me and he's like, "I don't. He is, I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to show him the clip, and he was just like. He said, Gerald, that movie came out in 1986. And he was like, my parents were in high school. <laughs> my parents were in high school. Oh, man. Austin, did, did you look up? It's good to be Eddie old. Murphy. Do you know who Eddie Murphy is? <laughs> no, and I'm not talking about the donkey from Shrek. Like, I was going to say, what do people like know Eddie Murphy for now? Like, right. <clears throat> they don't know Boomerang Eddie Murphy. They know <laughs> Eddie Murphy from Shrek. They don't. <laughs> I was going to say Saturday Night Live. Like Buckwheat or, like, or whatever I'm turned out live. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like... Uh, no, it was Mr. Mister Robinson's Neighborhood. My, <laughs> my kids the other day... So you remember from Beverly Hills Cop, remember the song, like the theme song, like Axel F? Do, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's some remix out there going mm-hmm. around that's like, you know, modernized. Mm-hmm. You know, my kids were like playing it or something. They came across it. Like, oh, it's good. And I was like, yeah, that's Beverly Hills Cop from like, you know, 35 years ago. Mm-hmm. No idea. No idea. I'm like, it's, everything is a cyclical. Mm, it all comes cyclical. Back. It just comes back. You know what else is cyclical? Today is the one year anniversary of guess what? I don't know. Chris Rock getting slapped today. Oh wow! Man, a I didn't year. See this? I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. Just the way that. Neither did he. Did, did, yeah. Hey, Will, what's up? <laughs> yeah, one Today's year ago. One year. One year ago. What do you want? What do you want to say about that? You got some I commentary I got, on it. I got it? nothing. I got nothing. Man. I just feel like Will kind of disappeared. He got canceled. He see. So there. So there's an example. Another. But example. didn't he like? Didn't he have like um some movie though that kind of came out and it kind of. He did have a movie. Revived. What was the movie about? When he um, stopped making Independence Day, that's when it started going downhill for me. <laughs> <laughs> when Independence. Did, when did Independence Day. Day come out? With Jeff Goldblum. Uh, see, Jeff I know Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Y'all know him from and Jurassic Jeff World. Because I, Jeff, Jeff Daniel, Daniel, Jeff Bridges. Wait, nineteen ninety six. Ninety six was when Independence Day came out. Ninety six is when, yeah, I probably watched it in college, probably like forty times. Yeah, I movie definitely. <clears throat> no, the dude. Uh, yeah, what's his name? Who's the other Dumb and Dumber? He's in that movie. Jeff Daniels. Yeah, he's in that movie. Isn't he? Wait, which movie are you talking about? Independence Day. Okay. Is he the president? There's no way Jeff Daniels is president. Who's the president? Can you look that up? Who's the? I love how we have to have a fact checker because we say so much garbage right. that we're like, There's I don't know if that's trash. true or not. <laughs> Let's just say it is true. <laughs> the pre- who plays the president in the movie Independence Day? You might need an IMDb it. <laughs> Independence Day cast. I. No, I'm questioning it. I know. I don't think it was him. I think it was a. Uh, Bill Pullman? Yeah. Bill Pullman. They look kind of alike. I'm sorry. Yeah, my apologies. You know him if you saw him. I was going to say, Bill. He's a I better mean, looking Jeff Daniels. <laughs> Jeff Daniels went from president to dumb and dumber. President? <clears throat> if it would have been him. Right, but it wasn't him. That's <laughs> so what that's what I'm saying. I made a mistake. That's my fault. We don't need fact checks. Let's just <laughs> assume he went from president. Yeah, to Dumb and Dumber. To Dumb and Dumber. Which would you rather be? <laughs> Which movie would you rather be in? Dumb and Dumber. Independence Day or Dumb and Dumber? Dumb and Dumber. Which is more iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I, I mean, mean, who? how many people quote that movie? Dumb and Dumber? That are our age. I mean, like, right. younger people don't know that movie that, that much. Maybe they do. Do you Did know you Dumb and Dumber? you see Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. Okay. I don't like, yeah, probably not as much as y'all, but. Yeah. I mean, that was in the wheelhouse of probably. I, like I probably watched 90s. it and, like, didn't get the references. What is, what is like, the, what is the Dumb and Dumber of, so of this young generation? Is there a movie that's like that? TikTok. Oh my gosh. TikTok is rotting our brains. Are we on that yet, by the way? No. <laughs> um I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't know any like movie in the last 
but I don't watch a lot of movies. You know, if it didn't probably come out in like the early '90s, like when I was in college, mm-hmm. and that's well, you know, all I did. Yeah. I have a hard time referencing. Like I, I couldn't tell you like what's a funny movie that's been out in the last five years. I, I don't know. Like what's a what about White Castle? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. Guys go to White Castle. Like I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm either thinking that or there's two guys that go to like North Korea to do some sort of interview or something like that with. <coughs> You know what I'm talking about? Is, is that, that a movie? The, uh, That's been canceled. That's been canceled? See, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I mean, my, you know, like the funny movies were like that. The Dumb and Dumber. They don't make those Tommy movies anymore. Tommy Boy. They don't that make those really... movies anymore. There's, another, there's no other Chris Farley. Well, that's Or true. Jim Carrey. Like, who are the funny guys out there? What's that like? guy? Yeah, this guy. Jonah Hill. Jonah, yeah, that's, that's, your, that's what I was thinking. Are you serious? Jonah Is that what you're looking at? <laughs> yeah. He's that's like this Farley. generation's funny guy? And he's not even that funny. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. Nowadays, it's all these Hallmark-ish kind of movies that, that kids listen to or kids watch. Do they? Yeah, man. A Hallmark movie? It's like the soaps, like really bad acting, uh, you know? So, I don't know. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Kevin Hart is funny. He is funny. Yeah. Him and The I'm Rock to together. <clears throat> it's like me. Yeah, and when you. they just do those. In- <laughs> <laughs> me and you. I like it when they like impersonate each other. Yes. Man, that is that's really funny. Who? So okay, so with us three, we're like Jumanji right here. Like, I would be The Rock. You would be. I'm Jack Black. <laughs> you're Jack Black. And, <laughs> oh, and Austin is Kevin Hart. <laughs> Have you seen that Jumanji? <laughs> Um, I, I watched it. it, but it wasn't on VidAngel, so I had to cut it off. Oh. <laughs> I only watch movies on VidAngel. Okay. Because typically they're shorter. <laughs> 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 and if we start it too late, I'm going to fall asleep in it. So. <laughs> VidAngel's perfect. You, oh. know, you fall asleep, or you, it's shorter, so you don't have to worry about it. And built-in quiet time. Go ahead. Remember that time I forgot that you like to watch VidAngel? Oh! <laughs> Austin's like... I, I don't even want to say what movie it is <clears throat> or what TV show it is. Yeah, it's a series. Like on was it HBO Max or Netflix or something like that? Oh. So I went to go find it on uh, VidAngel, and so I'm thinking, oh I'll, yeah, I'll just watch this on VidAngel. So the the kids were gone, so my wife and I were like, hey, let's let's watch that show. So we started watching it, bro. We were like three scenes in, and a guy walks in and drops a bad word, and when you when you watch TV through VidAngel and you don't hear anything for a long time, and then when when one like, yeah. cuss we're word also slips desensitized in, over here, yeah, it's just like, oh no, you know. And so it's I had like to, your kid dropping it or something. You're just like, where right? Did that come I'm from? like, oh my gosh, how I did you even that know word that word? Ever. And so yeah, man. So my kids call it like my younger couple of kids. You know, they're three and seven. Crass words. Crass words. Yeah, it's crass or being crass. Oh, you know, crass okay. to me is more like mm, not so much like bad words, cuss words, whatever. It's more like, uh, like potty, like bathroom yeah, potty. Humor kinda. Like they're they're even kind of disrespectful. Like mm. you know, like shut up is a, like that. Like Ooh. the big that's the Ooh, big that's bad. bad one. You need yeah, to but we were watching kids. we were watching some like you know kid friendly thing on YouTube the other day, and my kid was watching it, and it's like these avocado characters. <laughs> I don't know. But then they said something that was, you know, it wasn't like terrible, but it That's was. That's what y'all it watch at your house. With, well, but the, the, the three year old does. Mm. So she was like, "Now, I want to watch something on YouTube, but not avocado because it's crass words." Like, mm. let me say, you can't have the crass words. Yeah. That's what they are in our world. I feel like you can watch a YouTube video that's pretty safe and family friendly, but then when the ad pops up, it's something terrible. Yeah. Yep. Like, that's what happens when we're watching, like, a game. You know, it's March Madness. Mm-hmm. We're watching basketball games in my house. Um, they had that one that one thing where there's, like, six games at one time. And you can watch them all, and you just, you know, click on whichever one you want to listen to at the time, whatever. We're watching that. goes to a commercial break, and it's something terrible. Yeah. And it's and like, like, where did that come from? Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Somebody Sorry, knocking, knocking, trying to get in? <laughs> no. Did you have another video shoot scheduled? Bro, somebody's in the wall, man. Taking away on the pipes. Yeah, someone's in the wall. It's like buried alive. (laughs) What if that was their cry for help? They've been in there. Knock twice if you need help. 
I think Rick's in there doing something with the stage. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick's doing stage design now? Oh, oh that Rick. I thought you were talking about the other Rick. Hmm. Well, man. Man, we have exhausted probably 30 minutes now, haven't we? This was a great episode. Man, you know, what a comeback. It's good to be back. Let's be fist back, bump. Comeback wow. players, comeback podcast of the year. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Jerry? It just came out because I was going to say players. I said come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was play. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you, I cannot be. I'm not up for that award. <laughs> the come back player. <laughs> to be canceled <laughs> my apologies <laughs> okay well that was a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> oh Gerald it was great to be back yes it was <clears throat> hopefully we won't get censored and we'll be able to come back <laughs> next yeah uh, start the war- stop start watching this on vid angels now <laughs> we'll be appearing on vid angels starting next week that'd so, be good that'd be crazy family friendly friendly entertainment for all right. Everyone. Well, I got a ton of stuff. That Man, that was never, fun that we never talked about. We never even got to. So it means next week we'll have a lot of uh, stuff to talk about. <laughs> and we probably still won't get to that list. No, we'll get to the list. It'll yeah, be great. It'll we'll be see. fantastic. Thanks, everybody. That was we'll, fun, Gerald. Yep. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.